Well, we recently had a house guest in our RV. Yes. We're not going to tell you about it. We're going to show you a little bit about it. But stick around <laughs> to the end of the video because not only are we going to show you about it and tell you about it, we are going to give you some tips on how to survive having your own RV guest if you ever find yourself in that situation. Okay. Tips that help does anyway. Yeah. Here we go. We are about to have a house guest. Yes. Have you ever had a house guest in your RV? We have, but only one, and it's always the same one. <laughs> Our daughter Lauren is flying in for a couple of days to hang out with us over the holidays. Yep. And in this little space, <laughs> that could become an issue. Um, it's about the same amount of space as we had in the Montana, and she stayed with us yeah. a couple of times. and. It's uh, pretty manageable for the first day. 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, Scott has his whole situation going on over here. He's got his ramp. He's got his ramps over here. He's got his grippies to get up top. He's got his heat lamps up here. He's chilling watching Christmas movies. But tomorrow, when he wakes up and looks down from here, he's going to see chaos and a and a person that he doesn't normally see and he's going to be all pissed. So it's going to be a fun filled four days of having a house guest in an RV. Yeah. We will bring you along for the crazy journey to let you know how it goes. We'll definitely show you some of the crazy setup yeah, we got going on here. Her one bag is going to vomit all over this living room. She expands. Yeah. She expands. She's like... It's like that can of pop out worms that you play yeah. as a joke on people and you open it and it explodes. Exactly, that's all that's the stuff suitcase. that's everywhere. But anyway, we're going to have fun in Vegas. We have lots of stuff planned and uh, some of the stuff we can take you along for, some we can't because like shows and stuff, they won't let you film in there, but no. we'll see what we get into. I don't kill her. <laughs> I'll film that too <laughs> for, uh, for trial purposes. <laughs> no, we're married. You can't testify against me. Well, I didn't plan on testing that against you anyway. Every morning when Scott wakes up, he stink eyes down here where Lauren currently lives because he is pissed about losing his space. Yes. But we're surviving it. We're having a good time. You yes. haven't killed her yet. No. So that's good. Yeah. We were taking bets on how long it would take these two to murder each other in this small space. But we've been out. We've been busy. We haven't been hanging out like in the RV a lot. So yeah. we've been out and busy and had more space. Yes. So I think if we had just kind of hung out in the RV, that would have been a little crazy. Probably killed both of you. <laughs> Why didn't you kill me? <laughs> Casualty of war. <laughs> <laughs> Collateral damage. I'm just caught in a crossfire. Yeah, we're having fun. Um, today is going to be our last day um, mm -hmm. going out onto the town. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go oh, hang with out Lauren. Yeah, with Lauren. Uh, we're going to go out to the other side of the strip mm -hmm. that we haven't been on yet. And then we're going to go to a show tonight. Yep. Maybe do a little bit more gambling. And yeah. then um, Lauren will fly out tomorrow morning. Yep. And Scott will be happy. Scott. <laughs> yes, get his will. space back. Yeah. So uh, we'll take you along with us today for the last day with Lauren out exploring mm -hmm. Vegas. And uh, see what we can get into. Okay.
It's over. <laughs> House guest is gone. Yes. Lauren's gone, flew out this morning early. Yeah. The RV is back to normal. Yes. I will show you Scout, who is very happy. There he is. And he's got the happy beards. <laughs> He'll probably be mad because I'm filming him. Yeah. But you can see all of his stuff is back to normal. And he is very happy about it. Uh, when, I, when I was making the bed is when he started banging his face on the glass to come out. He knew you saw him putting his He saw couch everything back going back to normal. <laughs> yeah, so he's a happy baby. And uh, we did have a really great time with Lauren here. It was a whirlwind. Yeah. It was exhausting. Yeah, but it's good to get back to normal. Yes. And we feel like we have more room now. It feels <laughs> huge. It feels it like we have a, a ton of room it now. Does. But um, so now we will um, talk to you about some uh, some tips for when you have an RV guest. <laughs> because it can be quite challenging sometimes. Yes. Hopefully these tips will help you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, on to the tips. We have five tips to help you survive your RV house guest. And so we'll start off with, well, we were joking about it off camera and you just said. Who said I was joking? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I, Tip number one? Don't have house gas <laughs> in your, if you live that's, in an RV. <laughs> That's not one of the tips. It, but, it, it's a pro tip. But, Trust me, it's look, a pro tip. <laughs> for some of you, maybe that's the best tip of all. It's just don't it's just, do it if you don't have to. If you don't have to, if it's not a true yeah. requirement, you shouldn't do it. It's that's, just not fun. <laughs> that's not one of the official tips. So we'll get started with tip number one. If you do find yourself in a situation my where you have... bias <laughs> tip. <laughs> So tip number one, this is for this. I think this applies for even if you have a regular house guest. Is to set arrival and departure dates. Yeah. So you know when they're getting there. You know when they're it leaving. Open -ended. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you leave it open ended, they may never leave. Oh, go away. And in an RV, that's a terrible idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. So make sure that you have an arrival date and a departure date. Bye bye now. And everybody <laughs> understands when those dates are, and everybody's cool with those yeah. dates. And I would say, hey, try to keep it at a reasonable amount of time too. Don't set yourself yeah. up for like, oh, they'll stay 30 days. That'd be a great <laughs> idea. That's not a good idea. Yep. Don't do that. We did it for four days and four days was plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the second tip? The second tip is a budget. Plan an eating out budget. That's your favorite tip because you don't like cooking anyway. <laughs> I hate cooking. I don't and, want to cook when it's just us. Why would I want to cook if we have somebody else with us? Yeah, not only is it is it hard enough for everybody just to be in and exist in the RV, cooking just adds another element. Yeah, it's more stuff you got to get out. More, more chaos. It's more, more mess chaos. and people moving around. It's just better if you plan to budget just to eat out. And I guess if you could cook outside, more outside, and then just bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, but it when it's like forty five degrees. Yeah, not cooking outside because ours was over the holidays. It was cold. Even in Las Vegas, it was cold. It was very. We cold. weren't doing any cooking outside, so oh, I would say no. plan and budget to just get out. And yeah, eat plus out. our day was going to be unpredictable. We're out all day exploring, doing things, showing our good yeah. time. So the odds are we weren't coming home at dinner time anyway. Yeah. Now the third tip is kind of like the second tip and planning to eat out more. But the third tip is just to plan to be out more. Plan more yeah. time out of your RV than in it. <laughs> exactly. Now, we just slept and got ready in the RV pretty much. Pretty much. The rest of the time, we were out of the RV. Yes. So, I think if we had spent more time in the RV together in this confined space, it probably would have been a little more... Yeah. <laughs> like, if the weather would have been too bad to even yeah. go venture outside and we had to stay in. Now, it was cold out, but we forced ourselves to go out anyway. Yeah. Because we just wanted to be but The timeline was anyway. short with her, so... Yeah, and there's lots of stuff to do in Vegas, but even if yes. there's not a lot of stuff to do in the area that you're in, you know, plan, you know, to go on a hike, bike, get out of the RV. Don't just sit in the RV for four or five days. You will kill each other. <laughs> By day two, really. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's next? Um, check with your campground that you're at. Yeah. About guest policy. For sure. Because a lot of campgrounds have rules. Some charge. They will charge you a little bit more if you have an extra guest. Yeah. And if you don't disclose that information and they find out that you have a guest, they can actually kick, kick you out. out. And yeah. we don't want to get kicked out. Yeah. We've been at some campgrounds too that told you right from the uh, minute of check-in, um, list anybody you may have 
come to the campground while you're staying here. Exactly. And if your guest is going to have an additional vehicle, that's important information yes. for the campground but to I have. Always didn't. And for us, because we were staying on a military installation, we had to coordinate with the installation on how to get her on post, how she was going to be authorized to get through the gate. Yeah, because she's no longer an ID card holder. Right. So. so we have to coordinate to make sure that they're allowed in. Yeah. And we're following the rules. Exactly. Um, uh, the last tip I think is the biggest tip and it, it really covers a broad spectrum of things and that is just to set expectations because your RV guest may have never been a guest in an RV before so they really don't no, know what to expect. Yeah. Now what I'm talking about is like privacy. Oh there is none. There is no privacy. <laughs> Everything you do will be heard or seen or smelled or whatever <laughs> by, by everyone in the RV. There's no yeah. secrets. No, in an RV. No. So there's no privacy, so you need to set that expectation. Yeah. Um, the other expectations are little things like that you might not think of like hot water. We don't have as much hot water as you have in a, in a house. Yeah. Water pressure is not as good as you have in a house. <laughs> yes. Which our daughter didn't like. Yeah. Um, sleep. Sleeping arrangements. Um, yeah. For us, we don't have a bunk house. We just have the space out here. That's the couch. Yeah. And so when the first person's up, guess what? Everybody Everybody's up. Everybody's up. <laughs> you tap on them and you're like, skip. Because I'm like, yo, it's coffee time. We're, we're getting going. We're putting lights on. We're starting the TV. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the day is beginning. <laughs> so that's it. That's the five tips. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Kind of common sense stuff. But for us, um, we definitely had to follow those rules. To make yeah. it an enjoyable visit. And as she keeps visiting, she's getting better. Yeah, I think she this is what, her third time now? Yeah, she didn't pack nearly as much right. this time. Which, that was my most grateful thing. She's learning yeah. as she comes here to downsize the crap she brings <laughs> with her. She don't need it all yeah. for a short period of time. Yeah, and I, here's a bonus tip. If you have, if you have pets... Um, you definitely have to uh, get them accustomed to your to your guest. <laughs> Our pet never grew accustomed to the change. He was pissed the entire time. Yeah, he is a single pet pet. Yeah, <laughs> like, like he won't allow. He tolerates. Yeah. To a point, because the visit prior to this was last Christmas. And she did bring her her dog. Her dog, yeah. And that was an adjustment for Scout. It was, yeah. And it, it's more difficult when your guest is invading your pet's space, space. which was the case for us too, because yeah. where the couch is, that's Scout's, that's Scout's space. That's couch. Yeah. And so he was invaded. But he did learn quickly. We accommodated as best we could. We, we did. We simulated the window set up yeah. for him. And he, he did seemed okay. to be okay with that once we had yeah. that in place. So there's the tips. Let us know if you've ever had an RV guest or if you're planning on having an RV guest. Hopefully these tips will help you. And stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.